Poker Tonight is brought to you by UB.net. Rate, stack, own. Welcome back to Poker Tonight. Scott Huff alongside Joe Seabach. Now, Joe, as we mentioned at the top of the show, the 2010 World Series of Poker now just six weeks away. So let's talk about some of the changes that we and the people at home can expect from the event. The first big one is the fact that they're actually moving the event, all of the poker, from the Rio Amazon Room to the convention area where they've held the Gaming and Life Expo in the past. So that's footage of the old Gaming Life Expo, but it's going to be a sad, sad day indeed, Joe, as there will be no more Dunk a Stripper booth. <laughs> now, why is this a big move? <laughs> I think it's a big move and a positive move for several reasons. First off, the fans are going to benefit so much from the sites, the reporters. They're going to be able to get all of their information in one spot without moving around. As well, the World Series of Poker is now in one spot. You don't have to move anywhere. All the excitement is right there. Bam. Aside from the newly formatted Tournament of Champions, which, of course, we discussed a few weeks ago, there are two other big tournament changes this year. The 50K mm -hmm. horse back to No Limit Hold'em at the final table and the 40K event this year is six-handed. So first off, will we be seeing you make your debut in the 50K horse event? No. It's just too much money for me. I'm not going to sit down with 50000 with the games that I really don't have a ton of experience in. Phil Ivey, Doyle Brunson, Barry Green, so I'm going to let those guys duke it out. I don't think they need to uh, take my deposit into that field. What if I stake you? Yes, I'm in. 100% have to play that event. <laughs> and what about the 40K? Now that it's six-handed, you've had some success in six-handed events. I would love to play the 40K event. I think it's really, really exciting this year. Going to a six-handed event. Action? Does anybody like action? Because this is going to be the tournament for that. Obviously, all the mainstays are going to play it, but the online guys that you don't know about are going to play it as well. If I have the time to play it, I'm definitely going to. It's a question of uh, my schedule. I would definitely bet on an online guy taking this thing down, so I will not be staking you in this one. I'm sorry, but I hope you do well. I really do. <laughs> Good stuff. We'll talk more about it as the World Series of Poker gets closer, of course, in the coming weeks. Now, let's get to the latest online chatter with P2N Online, brought to you by Poker Pro Magazine, your best bet. Dana? Thanks, Huff. As always, P2N Online lets you know what's trending hot in poker on the web. Because poker fans, no wait, because the world demanded it, David the Maven Tchaikovsky released a day in the life of the Maven video showing us all how he rolls. Good morning. Uh, yes, that's the Maven in bed. And that's the Maven without a shirt on. Yep, and there he is getting a massage. Okay, that's enough. Does that girl even know what she's doing? Soon thereafter, online player Jason Jassup UF Lee released this parody video. Where, I didn't even oh, know you guys were snazzy bed sheets. Oh, I didn't even know. Okay, ahead, please, uh, please put your shirt again. back on, buddy. Um, see, you just can't really go wrong with the Maven. I'd pay money to see more stuff like this. Oh, it's the king! Oh it's the God. king! We're heads up! In the FML department, not yet engaged poker couple, Lex Valdois and Evelyn Ng are acting like an old married couple with walkers after a series of accidents sent them to the hospital. Lex reported on Twitter, I fractured my expletive ribs during Thai boxing. Breathing, laughing, coughing. Everything hurts. This ain't good. Then three days later, he shared, Hospital yesterday, Evie slipped from the stairs and bruised her tailbone. I have four fractured ribs. They thought I ripped my spleen at first. Evie then chimed in, tweeting, we're like two invalids complaining to each other. Ouch, guys, please be careful. We need you around long enough to get married and make some pretty poker babies. In other Twitter news, the Prince of Poker, Scotty Wynn, has taken to the social media platform lately like it was a bottle of Miller High Life. Scotty, who almost single-handedly has made the word baby a trending topic on Twitter, is even making surprise phone calls to his followers, or as he says it, his Twitter fans. In a few minutes, baby, I'm gonna surprise one of my Twitter fans. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call them, and I'm gonna surprise them. Twitter, I could say that all day. But I won't. This brings us to our Tweet of the Week from Todd Brunson, at Todd Brunson, who poked a little fun at Scotty's phone calls, saying, I decided to try cold calling people like my buddy at SJ Wynn does. Didn't seem to work out as well for me. Two misdemeanors and a restraining order. Now let's get to our reader mailbag. Here is a question from Frank S. via our Facebook fan page. At what point in a session do you call it quits after getting hit with bad beats before you hit tilt? 
for this, let's go to Tony G, who was kind enough to answer right before cards went into the air at the Party Poker Big Game 4. Tony told us, it gets down to the type of game I'm playing. If it's a really good game and it's not going to be on all the time, I will tough it out and do my best. If it's an average game, I will pull the plug and save my strength for the battles ahead if things are not going well. To submit questions to future mailbags, visit us at PokerTonight.com, our Facebook fan page, or Twitter.com slash PokerTonight. Good stuff as always, Dana. Thanks. When we come back, VP of Harris Interactive and the World Series of Poker, Ty Stewart, joins us in studio on Poker Tonight. Poker's biggest tournament, the World Series main event, is just around the corner, and UB.net wants to send five of our Poker Tonight viewers there to compete for a shot at Poker Immortality. To get in on the action, simply go to UB.net and sign up for a new account with the Poker Tonight referral code. You'll then receive an entry to one of our satellite tournaments for a chance to play in the main event final qualifier on June 6th. Finish in the top five of the final qualifier and you'll be on your way to Vegas with UB.net picking up the tab. While there, you'll get access to all the UB.net parties and a personal training session with either Phil Hellmuth or Annie Duke. So head over to PokerTonight.com now for all the details, and hopefully I'll be seeing you at the main event this summer.